One. This is a video on the joy of cruise control for the poor. And I say poor because usually every car has got cruise control on it. And maybe people don't know how to use it. It's this thing here. You go up, you go down. You can limit it. You can just set it. And the thing is, it means that you can uh, drive the car without using your feet. You just use your fingers. Thumb. Go up one mile an hour, go down one mile an hour. Each time you click it, you're going one mile an hour. But the rules are, you need to be moving for it to work. Usually you need to be doing over 30 miles an hour for it to work. Although I think it can go at 25 actually, say 25, minimum. And it's this thing here, you take your foot off, you take your foot off the pedals while you're moving. Stay in gear, you'll, you'll usually be in fifth gear, but it can work in fourth or third, as long as you're doing over say 25 miles an hour. Stay in gear and then take your feet off the pedals, all the pedals including the accelerator, and press that button and that'll put you on cruise control. You'll get some sort of notification of this on your screen, like a green light or something. And then you click this either up or down. Both will do the sort of same thing. If you go up, it means you're setting a new speed. If you go down, it's the speed you set at the last time. So it means if you're in a 30 mile zone, you can go at 30 mile an hour and cruise without using your feet and it means that you'll definitely not go, not go over the speed. Don't trust it totally, you could go up to 31, 32. And what I also find is when you're going up hills, you go, you go faster than you would with uh, using your feet, the accelerator. And I think it's just, it automatically just judges it right at that speed. And uh, it's faster than what you think. Something like that anyway. But the main thing is, these are in poor cars as well, cheap cars. So cruise control, I mean I use this a bit, you may only use it say in motorways, dual carriageways, long journeys where you're not making changes all the time, but I use it about 67, 70% of the time because you can use it in any road as long as you're using your common sense, of course. As soon as you put your feet, foot in any pedal, the accelerator, the clutch, the brake, uh, the, it'll go off, your cruise control will go off and you're back in control with your feet again. So, the beauty, the hidden secret, the joy of cruise control for the poor. And I'd say it's better than an automatic, actually, because, because you don't need to use your feet at all. You don't need to use the accelerator. You don't need to use the clutch. The, only the brake. As soon as you brake, it's all, you're back into control with your feet again. Cruise control goes off. So you can limit it, say, you want to limit it to 70. If you go down the way, that's you going back to the what you said at the last time. And if you want to go off faster, you keep clicking it one mile an hour more. You go down one mile an hour less. But always look out for that in cars because... I think it's one of those things that the poor, the poor don't know and they deserve it because it's better than an automatic. Okay, goodbye.